Hey guys, it's Beaver. So um, at ABC 13, Micah Hatfield, she did a pretty lengthy interview with Rosalie Jimerson, Malia Bass's um, grandmother. And it's also the mother of Sierra Irvin. This was a good interview. Um, I, I'm just so impressed by Rosalie all the time, every time she speaks. I cannot imagine what she's going through. And um, she did confirm some of the craziness uh, ABC123 was saying as far as helping her. And, you know, she did kind of think everything was okay. And she checked with the baby often. She also says that she knows they did it. She knows. Um, she's trying to piece together and grab at straws of why, and it don't make sense. And, you know, and then she kind of goes back to, uh, it doesn't matter. There is no reason, drugs, anything. It, it don't matter. You know, she wasn't raised like this. Why would she do this to the baby? It's 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 good, and it's lengthy, and um, we just want to you know continue to say prayers for this family. And here's the interview. And again, this is credit to ABC 13, Micah Hatfield. Um, I believe that's the, oh well, yes, it has to be at station in Houston, their local news station. Here's the interview. Yeah, I would go on, and they have court today. At some time, they may be in court now. I've looked a couple times. I haven't seen anything, but they do and are supposed to have court today. I've seen you marching, demanding justice for your granddaughter. I mean, what's this like for you now? I'm sure this is not the outcome that you hoped it, for. It wasn't the outcome that I hoped for. Um but I wanted justice and if this is, you know, this is the justice that Malia gets and I think she should, I think she, she deserves justice. How were you feeling when you heard that your daughter was arrested? Um, I knew she was getting ready to uh, be arrested. Uh, I kind of knew, you know, a little that they would be questioned again. Um, but I, I cried. I mean, it's, it's just sad. I, I mean, where, where do you go from here? Do you keep a relationship with your daughter? Do you, I mean, I know it just happened in the last couple of days, so I'm sure you're still trying to navigate. Yeah, um, just trying to find the right words to say to her. Um, uh, I haven't been able to talk to her. You're not able to see her, so you can't go visit. So, but there's so many unanswered questions. Has she given you any indication of what happened or has Travion? No, I, I don't talk with him. And no, she hasn't. We got a copy of some of the court records and and the information that they said in them about what happened to her is just I mean, it's just I don't I don't know words. Um, have you heard what what and, and and then again, it's just what Travion has told the police. So who knows right. if it's true. Right. But. Have you heard what he's said? Yeah. Um, it just seems unreal, you know, some of the things that's being said or the things that um, was supposed to happen to Malia. You know, I, I don't, I get really emotional when I start uh, thinking about the things that they have supposed to have done to my grandbaby. Because I can't fathom why would they do that to Malia. You know, she was a very sweet little girl. She, and she didn't deserve anything that happened to her. And so it, it hurts really bad. I, I sincerely hope that what he said isn't, um, isn't what actually happened. Because she's a beautiful child and you hate to think of her in such uh, a vulnerable 
situation experiencing so much pain. Yes, very much. Um, but it, it does, it brings into question now for us, for so many people, I mean, I'm not, not just me, but we, I'm at Bray's Bayou right now and we stood out here with him and, you know, he, he said, well, I'm, I taught her this and I taught her that and who would hurt my, this child? I mean, do you, right. do you look at that stuff with like puzzled? Yeah. Yeah. Because they were all lies. And I was like, I'm just like, how can you, um, uh... sometimes I just can't even fathom all that, all, all that they did, all that, all that they did. I was like, and all along y'all knew where, where, what happened and where she was, everything. So. And when he mentions he taught her some things, like he 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 was working with her on her ABCs. He was working with her on her colors. Um, there's times I've seen it on um, FaceTime. You know, I'm like, well, are y'all doing y'all? Are you doing colors with her? Are you saying her ABCs with her? I'm talking to Sahara, Sahara, like, yeah, mom, we doing her ABCs. We doing her, you know, uh, her colors. Her, you know. Her, her her name, do she know who she is? Do she know y'all names? You know, just a, what a two-year-old is supposed to know and, sh and should be learning, you know? So he, he was actually telling the truth when he said those things. So then do you wonder where the lies come in? Or, or was that just, he was kind of grasping at straws, you know, trying to find anything that seemed like a legitimate story? Yes. Um, only, only because that was true. So, yes, when he said those things, it was true. But then everything else was lies. Because both of y'all were, were, were covering up where my, where my grandbaby was. It's like, I just, I, it seemed like a movie. It seems like a, something I'm watching on TV every day. Every, every day. Did you at all at any point during this have any inclination that this is how it would end up? No, no, I didn't want it to end up like this. I, I, I didn't, I didn't want it to end up like this, but as a human, yeah, in the back of your mind, but you never don't, you never want to think that your child could hurt their own, their own child. Um, is there anything else that I didn't ask you that you want to share about this, how, you, how you're feeling or, um, no, do you think that there's a chance that they're innocent? No, I don't, they're, they're, they, they did it. They did something. Their actions caused Malia's death and they both know wrong from right. So your actions caused her death. So then you have to, you have to pay that, you know, you have to, the word is just, you know, there'll be justice for Malia. Do you wonder how someone could so close to you could do this? Yeah, I, I I gotta try to say, uh, you know, maybe she, you know, with her uh, being on drugs, I gotta you gotta try to find something. You you're on drugs. You you wasn't in your right mind. Um, you you you're being aggravated. So you, you as a as a parent or you know you try to try to find things to to say this is probably why you did this to my grandbaby. You know, but then I'm like, no, no, I, you wasn't treated like that. You, I, I didn't do you like that. I would have never done those things that they say you done to my grandbaby. So I don't know where this came from. I don't even know who that is. So it's really hard. It's hard every day. Every day it's hard. Yesterday was really hard because I just found out. So I was really very emotional and um, crying all the time. I, I cried today too, but 
uh, it's like sometimes um, the anger builds up and there's no tears. Not now. I'm just. I'm just. I just want to know why. Why did you do this? Why did y'all do this? What? What? I, there. I, there isn't even a reason. I don't even know to say why. Because there's no reason why. Because you never. No, no one never should have did this to Malia. It's, it seems like you know, you had a relationship with her. So I mean, if if they said, "Hey, we can't. We can't take care of her." Can you take her? I mean, would that have been something you would have done? Yeah, I would have. I would have. I would have taken her. Yes, without a doubt. And and they know that. Sahara knows that. Without a doubt. Yeah, I'd have gave up everything. This it's can't. double loss. It's double loss for sure. Yeah. You know, I don't have my grandbaby, and then now I'm not. I don't have my only daughter. So it's it, it, it's a it hurts really bad.